Hey everyone, Laser Dave from TroTech Laser. You've successfully unboxed your new Speedy 100, and now it's time to set everything up. This video will guide through every detail of the installation process to ensure your Speedy 100 is set up for success. Ready when you are, let's jump right in. For Speedy 100 unboxing instructions, please see the unboxing video by scanning this QR code or selecting the link in the description below. This video will showcase a detailed installation tutorial for the Trotec Speedy 100 laser cutting and engraving system. Having already unboxed this unit in a previous video, we'll now focus on the precise steps required to install it properly. The Speedy 100 can weigh up to 331 pounds or 150 kilograms. The exact weight will depend on the system configuration. The Speedy 100 laser machine can be configured as a desktop or tabletop machine sitting atop an optional filter unit or with an optional trolley cart with wheels. Ensure that the location where the laser will be installed can handle the system size. Measure the desired area to confirm the laser machine will fit, accounting for extra space around the system. This video will provide the guidance necessary to achieve a seamless installation for these advanced machines. Here are some of the installation requirements. A room with temperatures between 59 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 25 degrees Celsius. Do not install the system in a high dust area. The humidity must not exceed 70%. Do not install in areas with poor air circulation. Install away from shock prone areas. Ensure the system is 2 feet or 600 millimeters from the wall for cooling. The assembled Speedy 100 will fit through a standard doorway with a width of 30.87 inches or 784 millimeters. The laser can be easily rolled into position using the optional trolley cart. When placing the laser system near a wall, please ensure ample space behind the laser, at least 24 inches or 610 millimeters clearance from the wall for proper laser cooling. Locate the red box that comes with the laser machine for all the accessories to install the machine and make sure everything is included. This red box includes the following. A set of metric hex tools, a USB connection cable, a speedy run on Ruby quick reference guidebook, safety and maintenance instructions, the machine's power cord, a lens cleaning tissue, a USB flash drive with the included digital manuals, the keys to activate the laser, the laser lens, focus tool, a bottle of optical lens and mirror cleaner, and, lastly, the lens. The lens may vary based on what is ordered. Locate the 10 mm hex tool from the red box. Use this tool to open the right side panel on the Speedy 100 machine by turning the hex tool to the left. Then lift up and out to remove the panel. Locate the air compressor on the lower left side. Then locate the valve on the compressor. Pull out this valve to unlock it, then rotate it to the left as often as necessary to turn the air volume to maximum output until it stops, then push the valve back in to relock it in place. Use the 10 mm hex tool and replace the right side panel on the laser machine. Next is hooking up an exhaust to the laser machine. All laser machines must be operated with sufficient exhaust to mitigate fire hazards and health risks from particulates and vapors. Before laser processing, consult with your material provider for safety guidelines. Effective ventilation is essential to preserve system integrity, maintain optimal cutting performance, and ensure the longevity of laser functionality. There are two choices for an exhaust system, a closed laser exhaust system using a filtration system like the TroTech Atmos Pure filter systems. Scan this QR code or see the link below for information on these filter units. Depending on local laws, the other option is an external blower system designed to ventilate a laser to the outdoors. This kind of system will require many components to be purchased. Here is a basic diagram of a traditional external exhaust system. Always ensure the exhaust blower unit is at the end of the line for safety and noise. The further the distance the air must go, the size of the ducting and the size of the laser machine will determine the requirements. See the links below for detailed information on creating an external exhaust system, including links to most of the necessary components. While we provide the resources to support those installing an external exhaust system for their laser equipment, we strongly recommend engaging with a qualified HVAC professional to ensure optimal safety and performance. Expert installation guarantees that your equipment functions at its best, safeguarding your investment and peace of mind. 
Hooking up the exhaust to the laser system is easy. Locate the exhaust port on the back of the machine. Place a flex hose onto these ports by simply pressing the hose onto the port. Then, place the other end of a flex hose onto your filter unit or the outlet of your external exhaust system. Once the exhaust is hooked up, the next step is connecting the laser to power. The Speedy 100 machines running a maximum of 60 laser watts will only require a 115 volt, 20 amp circuit, and a NEMA 5-20P receptacle. Please ensure the correct power and outlet is located near the laser machine before installation. Retrieve the supplied power cord in the red accessory box. Locate the power inlet at the back right side of the machine. Plug one side into the laser machine and the other into the correct electrical outlet. Next is getting the machine hooked up to data. Locate the USB cable provided in the red box. Plug the square side of the USB cable into the laser machine back near the power port and put the other side into any open USB port of a Windows-based computer near the laser machine. If using the Trotec brand Atmos exhaust filters, the laser machine can communicate with this exhaust to turn it on and off automatically. To do this, locate the data cable that comes with the Atmos filter, plug it into the laser machine with the port labeled exhaust, and plug the other end into the exhaust unit. The laser is now ready to be powered up. Retrieve the small keys from the red box and place one into the keyhole. Ensure that the emergency stop switch is not engaged by turning and pulling to confirm that it is not pressed in. Go to the back of the laser machine, locate the master power switch near the top left side of the machine and turn it on. Close the top laser lid if it is open. To power on the Speedy 100 laser machine, turn the key to the first position and then to the second position to power the machine on. Ensure that the laser's top lid is closed before turning on the machine and that it remains closed during the entire startup process. The machine will start homing the Z-table and focus head. The laser startup process can take up to a minute to complete. To install the provided cutting table onto the machine, place it into the machine and move it around until it locks itself in place over the rulers on the main metal table. Next, install the laser's operational software, Ruby. Scan this QR code or go to mitrotech.com forward slash US forward slash Ruby install or see the download link below. Your internet speed will determine the time it takes to download. The file size will exceed 635 megabytes on your disk. Once downloaded, select the download link to install the Ruby software on the connected computer. The installation process can take up to 10 minutes, depending on the computer's speed. A shortcut will appear on the desktop once the installation is complete. Select the Ruby desktop icon to open Ruby, which will open in a Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome browser. Ruby will now ask for an email and password to activate the laser machine. This information will be emailed to you after you purchase the laser machine before its arrival. Please check your email for this login information. Type the email address and password in this email into the provided fields and then accept the license agreement. Now retype the password, change it to something you remember and select change password. Ruby will now open for the first time. Select the plus button here to add your device to Ruby if the Speedy 100 machine is not recognized. Locate the serial number near the machine controls or the serial plate on the back of the machine. Type it into this field and select Add Device. The Speedy 100 machine status will now appear green, indicating the system is connected. The machine and software are now completely installed and ready for first-time operation. To continue with basic operation training, proceed to the Getting Started training video with your Speedy Laser Machine. Scan this QR code or see the link below for the next step into laser system operation. Here are some laser projects to get started with your new Trotec laser system. 
Scan this QR code or see the link below for 160 step-by-step -step projects with instructions and template files that you can follow directly. At Trotec, your seamless experience is our priority. If any questions arise during the installation process, please feel free to reach out to your nearest Trotec showroom or sales representative. For comprehensive support, including technical assistance, Ruby training courses, pre-installation guides, manuals, and more, we invite you to visit the Trotec customer portal at mytrotech.com. Our dedicated team is here to ensure that you are well taken care of. Now, take your new laser and make something unforgettable.